So um, I'm happy, first of all, uh, to introduce our, our team. So uh, allow me, first of all, to introduce myself. My name is uh, Oded Nagel. I'm the CEO of, uh, of the Terra Networks. I've uh, been in the company since day one when we established it um, uh, 15 years ago. Um, in addition to, uh, to myself here, we have Aaron Brand, our CTO, who will be taking, uh, um, uh, um, we, he would be presenting some of his uh, some of the new uh, technology, and of course, here is uh, also in the room uh, Simon Michelson, our VP Alliances as well. So, uh, um, a little bit about Citera as a company. So, Citera operates uh, in a space of uh, secure enterprise file services from edge to cloud or edge to core to cloud. Uh, we basically uh, build a, a very robust and scalable. A global file system technology um, that allows uh, large and distributed enterprises uh, to deploy uh, our platform on any cloud, uh, meaning that uh, they can run it on on-prem, hybrid cloud, or uh, fully uh, 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 on, on public clouds like Amazon, Azure, or any other cloud that they, they use. Uh, this global file system allows them to uh, collaborate data, share data, synchronized data from their edge locations in a very easy way, in a very secure way uh, to their uh, cloud object storage uh, solution. We serve today uh, petabytes of data. Um, we uh, manage today tens of thousands uh, of remote offices across the globe uh, and, and protecting, of course, uh, uh, the largest organizations in the industry. Let's see a little bit uh, who is uh, our largest trusted uh, organizations. Uh, so uh, you can see here on the screen some of our largest customers that using our technology in very large scale for, for, uh, large, for large deployments. So we operate, as you see here, in different verticals. Um, we, we focus today on, uh, we focus mainly on six verticals. Uh, we have a lot of co companies and customers using our technology from the federal and, and the defense space. We operate a lot in the industrial uh, uh, in the industrial space as well. Uh, you can see some of the names here uh, on the screen, companies like Festo in Germany, uh, Perry, Merck, uh, sorry, it's uh, more on the healthcare side. So it's actually leading me more for uh, the, the third uh, vertical, which is the, the healthcare vertical, which uh, we see some of the uh, organizations that are using our technology here on the screen. We also operate quite well in the media and advertising uh, verticals and, and uh, our own uh, in the later session, we'll talk specifically about our technology there and how we operate and, and what are the benefits and capabilities in our platform. Uh, in addition to it, uh, of course, uh, Citera uh, um, is, is working very closely with some strategic partners. Uh, you can see here on the screen some of them. Uh, we work very closely with our technology partners and strategic partners like HP, IBM, Amazon, Cisco, Itachi. Um, but we also have a lot of, uh, uh, of course, uh, local partners and regional partners that are uh, selling our solution across the globe as well. And you can see some of the examples here, and we'll talk about them uh, during my sessions as well. I'm uh, proud to say that uh, Citera is a, is a leader, second time in a row, which is a huge achievement for us. Uh, in the Gigaom Stona, uh, in the Gigaom Radar report that for distributed cloud file storage. So we were announced on, and the second time in a row as the leader in the space. Um, uh, and you can see here one of the main things that they wrote about our technology that Citra is the, uh, the ability for us to scale and perform and provide the best security um, in, in combination of data services on a single platform. It's actually the best in the market. Uh, uh, during uh, uh, the next uh, uh, sessions, uh, you, you're definitely going to hear more about our capabilities around data services and about our performance scale and, of course, around our security capabilities as well. So this is uh, actually positioning, uh, positioning us very well uh, uh, in the market and giving us a lot of credibility um, um, uh, um, among uh, uh, our customers. Another uh, 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 huge achievement for this year is uh, we were recognized as well as the leader for uh, primary file file storage uh, for ransomware protection. Um, we recently announced uh, a new technology around ransomware protection based on AI, which Aaron will cover in a second as well. 
Um, this is uh, a very advanced technology that, was, that puts us as, as a leader in the space and the, the and fast mover in this space. We actually developed a very robust and scalable engine that allows us to predict and detect ransomware attacks almost li almost instantly uh, uh, in like less than 30 seconds um, and reduce the uh, the the amount of uh, time on the attack on, on a file system. So that's huge development, huge, uh, and we're getting huge feedback from our customers and Aaron will cover this technology as well in the next session. So let's talk a little bit about our uh, partner ecosystem. So Citera uh, as a company, from a go-to-market point of view, we a 100% channel. We work very closely with uh, VARs, regional uh, MSPs, and, and of course, system integrators to distribute and offer our solution across, across, the, across the globe. Uh, you can see here some of the names. So we work with uh, the leading uh, channel partners today in North America, Europe, and APAC as well. You can see some of the names here. Uh, we work very closely with uh, WWT, SHI, Presidio, and, and, and many more. Uh, and uh, we're definitely uh, working with them very closely and, and educating them how to offer our solution. We recently as well uh, launched a new Citera partner program, um, which uh, gives us a lot of capability and, and a lot of value to our partners uh, to, to go and offer our technology uh, to their customers. In addition to it, uh, we also partner uh, with the leading cloud storage partners. So we have uh, very strategic partnerships with uh, um, cloud storage providers. Um, uh, you can see some, some of the names here. So uh, we work very closely with AWS um, on, on, the, on the public side. Uh, we, work, uh, we are working with HP and IBM on, on the on-prem side. Uh, we recently uh, also signed a, a global OEM agreement with Itachi Vantera which they uh, OEM our technology and offer it as, as their own solution running on top of HCP, which is their leading object storage platform uh, um, in, in touch of their offering. Uh, and in addition, in addition to it, of course, we are also partnering with Wasabi. We have a lot of customers together and of course also uh, with Skeleti. Um, in overall, we, we are uh, cloud agnostic, so we support almost any uh, cloud object storage uh, uh, solution in the market. Um, so um, if a customer uh, uh, using different uh, different object storage solution, we can definitely support it as well. In addition to it, uh, we are uh, reaching all the, we are enhancing, I would say, our ecosystem also from a technology point of view. And you'll see during the session, uh, the concept of data services, meaning that we are providing new connectors, new capabilities to allow customers to connect different type of uh, solutions to our global file system and provide more value to our customers. So you can see some of the names here, we partner on the security side with Veronis and Thales, uh, and with Bitdefender and many, many, others, uh, many, many other vendors as well. So uh, our vision as well uh, at Citera is to provide an open platform to our customers by providing them very rich uh, um, APIs and a very easy way to connect using our SDK. And then uh, they can get more uh, a value and, uh, and access to our metadata and, and to the data itself on the global files. So let's um, see a little bit how the market uh, evolved in the last, I would say, five to 10 years from the unstructured point of view. So. When we started the company and we presented uh, our technology, most of our customers and partners, first of all, started to talk and ask questions about, okay, how many IOPS your platform provides? You know, do you have compression? Do you have deduplication? What about backup, DR, these type of things? And then later on, they started to talk more about, do you do tiering? What about compliance? Uh, how, what about data mobility? And then move, move more for caching and, and some other uh, more advanced capabilities. But what we see today is that basically the unstructured data is evolving and, and expanding. And now instead of talking about IOPS, we're actually talking about collaboration. We're talking about data uh, data ops. We're talking about cyber resilience. So our uh, um, customers and partners are looking to get much more um, um, skills and capabilities from a global file system than just talking about uh, IOPS or deduplication, they're actually looking 
of this type of solution to how they can manage globally and securely uh, the all unstructured the all unstructured unstructured data in their organization. So you'll find out in in the next sessions how Citera uh, provides different capabilities in data ops and how we provide different layers of cybersecurity and, and, and cloud native technology in, in, in our solution. So let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, what we do in, a little bit more in depth and, and what we provide. So we are, we are mainly working with very large customers that are highly distributed um, and they have a lot of uh, disconnected silos and, and limited scaling. Um, and um, and they have a lot of challenges, especially when you are working in a distributed environment and you have a lot of remote offices, uh, you have uh, latency challenges, you have internet co connectivity challenges, you have support challenges, you have security challenges as well. And of course, you have also uh, a cost challenge, how you move data efficiently, efficiently from the edge to the core, how you manage your data, how much it's going to cost you, how you're going to support it, how you're going to protect it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody that uh, understand that uh, these type of challenges, and especially, you know, a large organization with many remote workers, many remote offices, and, and guess what? Also the COVID days now, everybody's working from home, everybody working from remote office, offices has actually uh, increased the challenges on almost on any organization. So Citera basically developed a global file system technology uh, that's what you can see on the right screen, on the on the right top of the screen. Uh, it's basically a software-defined solution. So we we sell our software as a, as a solution that you can run on any cloud. You can run it either on-prem, uh, fully on your data center, fully controlled by your firewalls and, and your uh, infrastructure. You can run it as a hybrid cloud, and you can also run it in a, in a VPC uh, in your cloud as well. Um, and like in Amazon, Azure, Google, or any other cloud providers. Our global file system is designed to run on top of cloud object storage. So we support almost any cloud object storage in the industry. And you saw some of our strategic partners in the previous slide. Um, and then we provide different type of uh, endpoints um, to the edge. Uh, we, we have either edge location for remote offices, a uh, remote office can be a small office with five users, 10 users, but it can be also in an office with thousands of users. We're serving today even very large offices with even thousands of, or even tens of thousands of users. Uh, it can be a, a far edge location for machine generated data, or it can be even a user that's working from home and uh, working on his, uh, uh, on his design, on, on his project, and they need to collaborate the data easily with other people in either uh, uh, internally or externally as well. Uh, in addition to it, our global file system provide capabilities, uh, cloud native capabilities, I would say, that you can connect different type of applications through different type of APIs and SDKs, and we'll cover it as well in this session. And then you can uh, uh, connect and, and, and uh, uh, using different type of platform, either like Elastic or any type of cloud analytics platform and run different type of pipeline and workloads uh, on your data as well. So if you look a little bit about our architecture, um, you can see here um, in a really high level, and, and Simon and Aaron, of course, will get into the details much more in their session. But um, as you can see here on the left, the gray button, the gray area, this is actually our core technology. Uh, this is our global file system and our management platform. This is what we call the Citera portal. Uh, it's a software defined, so it's basically a virtual machine that you can run on any type of virtualization. We support VMware, Hyper-V, KVM, or any other uh, uh, virtualization layers that you have. It's a very, it's a large scale management and multi-tenant, so you can manage hundreds or even thousands or tens of thousands of users. Um, well, it supports built-in multi-tenancy, so you can create virtual portals, virtual tenant per department, per customer, per user. And we support also multi-cloud as well. So you can walk, uh, uh, you can walk with on-prem data and, and you can move some of the data to an off-prem and, and, and you can also route the data between different cloud providers as well. Uh, on, the, on the blue side, you can see the endpoint, uh, meaning these are the, the softwares that you can either run at the edge on your office. This is what we call the stair edge filer. It's basically a virtual machine 
that provide NAS capabilities. So it's exposed the standard SIFs and NFS protocols at, at on the LAN level, on the on the on the network level. So users can continue to work as a regular file server. They open a share, they uh, store the data, and then the edge filers are starting to synchronize and cache the data to the global file system. And we also have an agent option, uh, so you can install a software on your uh, on your mobile or on your PC or on, on your VDI, and then work directly directly uh, directly on the global file system without uh, the edge filer itself. Um, and then we have the green layer, which is basically the data services layer. These, these are the connectors layers, and, and, and we will cover some of the use cases and some of the capabilities during this session as well. Um, but you can see here some of, of some examples. We have uh, different type of data co government connectors, cyber resilience connectors, data analytics connectors, and many other things that you can do with, with the platform as well. So just to summarize my session before we move on to uh, Aaron, uh, so what, what are the key uh, takeaways? So we are uh, uh, the leaders in the cloud file storage and, and the file ransomware protection uh, market. We, are, we have an open ecosystem with our data services a platform connectors approach. Uh, you'll find out that it's very easy to connect and integrate with different type of uh, workloads uh, based on your needs. Uh, we, we focus on partners. Uh, we sell through partners, and, and we believe this is the, the right way to go to the markets. We have uh, a unique partner program. We work with channels, strategic uh, partners, and, of course, also we have a lot of technology partners as well. We have a proven solution. We have hundreds of uh, large enterprise customers deploying and managing uh, thousands of locations and, and hundreds of petabytes of data, billions of files in a single fi global file system. Uh, and we can definitely share some of the case studies uh, also during these sessions as well. So thank you for listening. I hope it was uh, uh, clear. Uh, I'll be happy to address later on any questions. And I'll move the ball now to my friend Aaron, our CTO. I, thank you. I do have a question. Do you have multiple, um, so you've got this, this front end that are all the edge locations that access the data You've got this layer of uh, global file system that's running across scalable uh, networks. At, so where is the storage? Is the storage sitting at, at one cloud? Is it sitting at one region? Is it sitting at one availability zone? Is it spread across multiple zones, et cetera? Um, it's, it's all, uh, maybe Simon, you want to take it? Or? Sure, yes. So we are leveraging object storage as our backend, right? So we, that. we abstract the storage. Now it could either be one bucket or it could be 30 or as many number of buckets as needed. It could be in different regions for security reasons. So you can have data routed to a bucket in Europe versus a bucket in the United States. Um, you can really manage that policy of how okay. data gets routed from the edge and that's a, into its perspective. Level management? As a terra level management, okay. yes. And, yeah. would, and in that scenario, would it be routed, uh, like can it be configured to say all data goes to these three places? Yes. As opposed to you know rolling through them? So yes, that's essentially how we manage it. Now we do this association, by the way, at the, at the share level. So as you define the system, you can say this share gets redirected here. Here are the, here are the places where is, it must reside. Connected to a set of buckets? Uh, yes, exactly. Yep. Okay. And can you direct it on demand? Um, on demand. Like, let's say it was this bucket today and tomorrow I want to move it to another bucket. So that requires, or, yeah. Or I want to make use of what's in this bucket. Uh, do I, I now get access to it rather than being like a statically routed? Okay. So for access, we do offer either direct S3 connectivity through our platform or any of the protocols that are supported. And we can also allow for exporting the data to another bucket. So if you're looking to create like a working pool for the subset of the data to support some workload, we can do that as well. Oh, on demand. So we have a process that we call an S3 copy. An S3 copy uh, is basically a way for you to say, I want this subset of data exported to this bucket. Okay, cool. Okay. Can you support Sorry. multiple clouds for your bucket? So I could have one bucket be on AWS region east and the other bucket on Azure region west. And yes, we support a third bucket on global 
<clears throat> cloud vendor X someplace else. On-prem, off-prem. You don't care. As long as it's S3 compatible uh, or blob storage, it's fine with us. Excellent. Okay. Do you also have any security considerations where you have to make sure that stored in like a country or put on public cloud and private center? So we really leave that to the customer, the organization to define that. Uh, we provide the software, so they have full control in how they set up the policies so that it meets their security requirements. Okay. So you actually do support tagging and stamps and stuff like that though, right? So the tagging is, uh, we do have some native tagging that's kind of for our own, uh, let's say, optimization of the data, but not general purpose user-defined tagging. This would have to be uh, an overlay, an integration that's provided by uh, mm. uh, a third party. Uh, it's not natively built into the system today. And the data protection across buckets, is that like just replication or, you know, like mirroring kind of thing or is it yeah. RAID So we do leverage 7? the characteristics of the S3 compatible storage target that we're writing to by either uh, using cross-region redundant storage, LRS, GRS, ZRS. Whatever the object natively supports. Exactly. Okay. Does a native object store have uh, immutability immediately? So you, you have some protection? Because you said you had ransomware detection. Is there like snapshots? Yes, yeah, so this is a very good question. So we're going to cover that actually in Aaron's segment about what we call Cetera Vault, that we have the ability to enforce retention on data, applying grace periods for data. So as soon as data gets written to the system that it's under retention, uh, that's, again, that could be defined by the admin. and. Um, Aaron could also cover this uh, later on, but to leverage the uh, immutability aspect of the object storage. How small does the local cache need to be or have, you know, you have footprint is virtual or physical devices, is that correct? So at the edge, it could be either physical or virtual. Uh, we typically start as small as one terabyte okay. at the cache level. Okay. Uh, you can go all the way up to 256, depending on the size of the site and the performance and the cache that you need. Yeah. Um, 